welcome back to my floss tube. My name's Chloe, but you might also know me as Penguin Cross Stitch on here and also Instagram. So before we get started, I would just like to say a massive thank you to everybody who has subscribed to my channel. I've got a lot recently. And there's a special lady who mentioned me in one of her videos, which I'll mention later on in the video. Okay, so first I have a FFO, which was a new star and then I finished it. I have some haul and a few whips to show you as well with my whip go. So whip go is like a bingo and bingo board. I'll insert my, my bingo board just here. And this was created by um, by Jessica Does Stuff on Instagram and also Facebook as well. So yeah, so my May numbers were number 19 and that one was the Sunset Penguins. So, this is what it's going to be look, look like when it's done. I'll insert a picture of where I was before. The goal for this month was to do 300 stitches, but I think I've already gone over that. So my goal has been met. So I think I've worked on just all this bit here. Don't know if you can see, but it's starting to go wonky across the top. So I don't know how I'm going to stop it from that. So if 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 you know of how I can stop it from going wonky, please let me know. Because I hope it won't be wonky when I frame it. We'll see. Okay, my next whip go number was number twenty two, and that is the Christmas wreath cell by Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. And the goal was to complete a clue. So I've nearly got there now. I'll insert a picture of what it will look like or where I was before. Oh, the needle. So last time I did all the green, well, most of the green. And then recently I have started to fill in. So I've done the candy cane, obviously I had to keep it red for the candy cane and then I was debating whether to change the star colour but I thought no, I'll keep it the same. So yeah. All I've got left to do for clue number three is, I think, it's either one of these, I can't remember which one, I'm not sure. I've got to fill in two baubles and then, no, two lights, sorry, and then the snowflakes as well. So, yeah. I think yesterday the next clue would come out with, at the top, I think it was, with, who was it? Oh. Missy Santa Claus, I think it was. So, yeah. Need to catch up really quick because all the clues will be out soon before I finish mine. <laughs> okay, so I also worked on another whip as well during the last few weeks, I say. Um, this one, I'll have to insert a picture of what this one's going to look like when it's finished. And then also, I'll insert a picture of where I was before. I think last time you saw this I had only completed one colour and I've managed to complete three other colours. So I have done a lighter blue and then I have done two purples, a light purple and a dark purple. I 
I'm liking this kind of stitching where you complete one colour at a time. I like it. Okay. So, for my FFO, fully finished object, and a new start and a finish as well, all in one. It was my sister's boyfriend's birthday recently, so I thought I'd do him a little gift. It says a golf king on it. And they also popped it into this little frame that I um, bought from TK Maxx that was in my last video as well. So that came really handy. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's do horn. So I've, I've not really bought that much. Try not to spend as much money on crafty stuff, but we have to do what we have to do. Um, first thing, let's show this fabric first. So I was looking through the Facebook marketplace and I spotted this fabric and I thought, oh, I love this. There's a lot of it. It is 36 inches by 74 inches. So, this is what it looks like. And these bits here, this bit, this bit. In the lighter ones is actually 14 count Ada. So what I'm thinking of doing some alphabets on here. Obviously this is penguin cross stitch so I have seen I've got a magazine with all penguin alphabet on so I'm thinking of stitching all of them on there. I'm hoping it will fit if not I'll have to just work out how to do it. But yeah, I saw this fabric and thought, I need to have it. I need to have it. Okay. I was also scrolling through the Facebook marketplace and I saw a needle minder. Oh, I love it. I don't know if you're ever going to see this on the camera because my camera doesn't focus properly. So I'll have to insert a proper picture. But this is a loads of penguins in a little cup. And this is from the Bad Shack UK on Etsy. Maybe you can see it a little bit. Yeah, I love that. Okay. Oh. I'll talk about this other purchase in a bit. But first, let's talk about a new start. So I mentioned in my last video that I was going to start the Frosty Forest and that I have I've done a little start but not too much so I've started right in the middle so what I'm plan planning on doing is to do all the nine little charts on one piece so this is even weave so I'm not really don't know if I like stitching on it or not. It's a lot of hard work for counting, but I'm hopefully, I'm hopefully gonna work it out. Let me just find the chart. So what I'm hoping to do first, if it will work, I'm not sure if it will work or not. I'm hoping. Don't know if you can see this, but there's a white border around each little stitch so I'm thinking I'm stitching all the white first and I don't know I don't know if I'm going to be able to count them after it might be hard work <laughs> I don't know I might just stitch each one first and then it'll be easy for me if you know what I mean we'll see oh but also I've got because these um, special threads, the classic colour works and wig style works, all are all on little what are they called tags. I've also because I've got DMC in there as well. I've also brought these. I thought I could put put them on there. Um, 
doesn't say how many there are on there, but there's quite a few. I think these were from the range as well, if you wanted to know. So yeah, just a little start. Did take me a while to actually start counting them and then counting them again, making sure I've done it right. Yeah, it does look quite nice actually. I do, I do hope I'll work on this a bit more soon. Okay, so oh yes, got to mention. So the lovely lady Sean from Craftivating Creations on Flosstube and also on Instagram mentioned me in her last video about Frosty Forest as well. So thank you so much, Sean. And definitely, we should definitely start south for this, so let me know what you think. Okay, so, my biggest plan. So, you might see on my Instagram that I've been posting a picture of a real penguin. Um, I'll have to insert the picture. So, I actually took this picture about a year and a half ago when I went to the zoo and I thought it's a brilliant photo. So... I've decided to stitch it. So I use what did I use? I think it was pick. Is it pick to? Oh, I don't know now. I'll have to insert where I um, the website where I used, and it's going to be my biggest project yet. So it's going to be six hundred seventy-five stitched wide, and it's going to be nine hundred twenty-one stitches high. And there's going to be 101 pages in total and there's going I'll be needing 493 threads now that's going to be a lot so I haven't really got much of a DMC collection so I'm gonna have to start buying them gradually and they've actually brought my first 15 threads <laughs> In which they are all in here so I like these size ones I think it's an 18 by 14 so it's 18 by 14 by 4.5 centimeters I like how they properly stack inside so I've actually bought four of these at the moment and I've worked out I can fit about 36 threads in there so I'm going to be needing about 12 or 13 of these <laughs> so I think I'm going to need like a little box or no, a little box I'm going to need a big box to put them all in what have I put myself into <laughs> so yes yeah, so now all I need is I've already got the pattern and save up for the threads. It's going to be a lot of money. Oh well. I think it's a beautiful photo though. I'm actually really happy with it. Very happy. Okay, so I think. I've got anything else to show? No, I don't think so. I think, yeah, the reason why I've not posted sooner is because of work. I've been working so much recently that when I get home from work, I'm so tired. Like, I just don't want to do any stitching. But I've got a little, I've had a little bit to show you. So, yeah. So, thank you again so much for subscribing. And I hopefully see you in my next video. Thank you.